during moments where I could have road rage, just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Sometimes I laugh. I just take a deep breath. Oh <laughs> boy, you know, and it's like they don't know. And then like they don't know no better. <laughs> like somebody grandma said, but bless them, baby. They don't know no better. You know, it's you just you can't expect everybody to have the same consideration that you have or you know training that you have. What's up and what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Laid Back Since 96. And I'm back at it with the Laid Back Moments video. Now, this is a new series on my channel where I talk about moments in the first person, second person, and third person. First person is, I single-handedly experienced this moment. Second hand is, or second person, is where I experienced this moment through a family member, close friend, or a close co-worker, you know, where they tell me their intimate, you know, experiences of it, and I channel that into understanding that experience. Or a third person, where it's someone from a distance, whether that's a random co-worker, someone randomly in public, and I interpret how I believe they're experiencing this moment, okay? And today is episode three, where we're talking about road rage <laughs> now road rage that's something that i've experienced first hand okay i mean i was diagnosed with road rage <laughs> let me stop playing um I, but i honestly can say that i i started with road rage i started seeing myself have road rage you know shortly after i started driving and i started driving like at 17 so yeah and it's just like it's to me the my diagnosis of myself of why i have road rage is when i realize that people are not as considerate as me when driving a vehicle that or they don't seem to comprehend certain concepts when driving aka i think they're stupid But the thing, the hey, 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 I just told you adequately what it was the proper way. But I just think people are just, they don't have as many brain cells, you know, as the average person should. Um, but in any case, any case, what it tends to happen is someone does an act that doesn't seem all the way safe or thought out as I would when I would you know attempt said act and i'm like you don't care about anybody's safety you're just trying to attack me or just do whatever stranger and, danger at, at everybody's expense but as long as you get to where you want to go that's cool um and i'm pretty sure plenty of you have experienced road rage from either as being a passenger or being a driver i mean i don't think this is anything that most people are exempt from um and the thing about it is it's like what i've started to realize is that road rage it did impact my life as in if i held on to that road rage or continued to express that road rage it would seep into my life where in conversations my frustration with people or how the situation was handled would would awry and i didn't like that so you know i took steps to mitigate that that road rage you know um and the thing about it is it's like it's not i don't think it's a hard process to uh revoke but it is a a process in which it takes time it takes time and effort um the things that i would do would be um i would listen to like i would listen to music that i liked but i also you know 
I like to listen to um, like laid back type of music um, a good amount of the time, and I would listen to that more. You know, something that would calm me down. Who's uh? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Or maybe when things happen, you know. One thing I've realized to do just in general in my life, but also during moments where I could have road rage, is take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Sometimes I laugh. I just take a deep breath. Ha <laughs> ha boy. You know, and it's like, they don't know. And then, like, they don't know no better. <laughs> like somebody grandma said, but bless them, baby. They don't know no better. You know, it's. You just, you can't expect everybody to have the same consideration that you have or, you know, training that you have with what you're doing. And it's like road rage, it's, it's, it's something that afflicts us all. And like, just on the mental side, like I say, three things that I would say to do is like, listen to more calmer music, maybe jazz, R&B, um you know things of that nature maybe you're in the, the country listen to like you know one of the you know more tame types of country um but physically when you're experiencing like situations such as that and someone does something like reckless or dangerous what i tend to do to protect myself from those moments is like i start to anticipate you know i try to anticipate what people could do you know I think worst case scenario, if they don't know what they're doing, they might end up doing this. So I just need to do this, you know, it's as simple as maybe when you're at a red light, you, you only, you know, you know, you park your car, like maybe more than half a car away, just in case somebody does something crazy. Or maybe when you're, when your light coming, when you're at a red light about to go green, you know, you wait like half a second or a second and a half before you go. Cause somebody could just run the light from your perpendicular angle Ooh, hold on now <laughs> whoa um and then also another thing to do is just drive slower if i tend to find if you drive slower you react better and you can stop people from making your life and day a little harder or injuring you you know what i mean it's like the quicker you are no matter how good you are at driving or how good you are at reacting the less time, and that's what we all cannot waste. The less time you have to react to certain to that certain thing or whatever's going on, you know. So, you know, again, the mental. It's you know we want to listen to calmer music. We want to take deep breaths. You want to laugh. You know when these moments happen. And then the physicals is park farther than you usually would away from cars when in um, congested areas or just at stops um you know take moment like take a, a second or a second and a half before you go across this light because you know you've seen people anxiously trying to get across the intersection you know what i mean and then that third one was um you know anticipate people's movements anticipate what people would do think you've been if you've had road rage then I'm pretty sure it's something that's infuriating you because you've seen it before. Or it's just like, you can't believe it happened. You can't forget that moment. So if you can't forget that moment, learn from that moment. And that's, that, that's honestly kind of the fourth thing. When a bad situation happens, review it, see what you could have done better, and then make sure you can take care of you in that situation moving forward. You know, find out what you could have done better to make sure you was in the best way to protect yourself at the worst case scenario you know road rage is something dangerous and you know people have road rage before and lost their lives you know shoot even in my city um like a year or two couple couple years back you know people were um they were they were like shooting people at um at red lights like if people were honk horns or run in front of them at night they, they would sit up there and just shoot people i remember um it's crazy like it's life's life's too short and people are too unpredictable to be out here showing your road rage sometimes you just gotta learn to contain yourself it's not that it's not worth it. expressing yourself in that way is not worth it and i would just ask that you do those three things mentally and those three things physically and you know i say pray to god more because <laughs> people gonna do what they want to do you know what i'm saying but at least you can protect you at a higher rate and from these people that tend to not, you know, 
think of you when they make these rash decisions. Um, but hey, man, that's all I got, man. I hope you enjoyed that. You know, shoot, I know we all have road rage, man. I'm, I used to be one of the worst. You know what I'm saying? I used to be one of the worst. That ain't me no more. Luckily, I've been saved. <laughs> but nah, bro. <laughs> Oh man, hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, like the video, you know what I'm saying? Um, hey, if you like the video, shoot, you should share the video. Let your friends see it, you know what I'm saying? I challenge everybody that's watching this video that got this far, share it to one friend, bro. Share it to one friend, see what happens. Maybe they're like, hey man, why did you send me this? But what I expect to happen, be like, hey yo man, who this? This dude. You know, kind of informative or kind of funny, whatever, you know. You never know what impact this video could give to somebody else. If it gave you a positive impact or it gave you some knowledge, hey, why not share it? You know what I mean? And, and if you're new, subscribe. You know what I mean? Just um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It takes literally probably less than two seconds. And guess what? It's a great way to support, you know. Subscribe. And, um... You know what? Y'all gotta keep it easy. Y'all gotta keep it easy. Cause this is your boy laid back since 96. And I'm out. Living like with no regrets. Living like with no regrets. Uh, living like with no regrets. Sacrifice just for success. Like God always give me a test. Well, I took my heart out my chest. Cold. Living like with no regrets. Trying to make everybody happy, but I can't.